just this morning I was on the internet looking at YouTube and I came across an amazing project um, for making acrylic film out of um, gel mediums and um, the idea is to put down some sort of um, uh, design either with ink or paint or something like that onto um, a plastic sheet and then put gel medium on the top and let it all dry then you can peel the whole thing off and you've got this film that you can cut up and you can use in projects and um, I was just thinking if I could put down a trail of glue I could put tea on it and make a design so that's what I'm going to try and do now so I've got a piece of acetate here it's on a backing sheet you can see that this is just ordinary um, right on film. I just thought I'd use a small piece um, and experiment a bit. And um, this is Scotch quick dry adhesive, which is my favourite wet glue, and it's very nice and tacky. So, and it's got quite a fine nozzle on it. And I thought what I'd do, I'd just do some squiggles and just see how this works. This is by way of an experiment. Let's get that flowing. so that I can collect up the bits and put them back. This is a real waste not what not product, um, project. Make sure that's well covered. powder you don't really want a lot of powder where you don't want it I should have used my uh, anti-static bag on here first I think but I think that'll probably do Set aside to dry fully. That might take a while. Put tea back into the jar.
quite interesting. I'll leave that to dry and when it's dry I'll come back and finish. So I'll see you later. Okay that's dry and it is coming off a little bit. I'll have to just handle it carefully I think. Um, so what I'm going to do is put it on some waxed paper just in case anything off. Um, I've got this. Um, now on the, the video she used this um, soft uh, gel in gloss and I think it's quite kind of thick and um, I think that's going to take the tea off. So I think I'm going to experiment with this which is a fluid um, acrylic polymer and it should be self-leveling so we'll see what happens. a generous amount. Yes it's going to flow off but it doesn't really matter. This should dry crystal clear. Now we'll see since I last had the camera on um, I've put some text on the bottom half of this piece of acetate just written the word T. Different styles. Script. This is definitely experimental, but I might be able to use some of it if it works. Oh, it seems to be going on quite well. There are a few bubbles which I, I will pop in a minute. It seems to be flowing quite well. self-leveling. It may take a long time to dry. See if I can move them. Don't seem to pop with this. Oh, I've got anything finer, I don't think I have. It's always a mistake to shake the bottle when it's liquid because it um, introduces a lot of bubbles. These are extremely stubborn bubbles. She was able to prick them on the video and they seem to disappear, but these ones are not popping. No, nope, it's not working. I don't think I've got anything finer than this. I couldn't believe how strong the surface tension of a small bubble would be. If I push them to the edge, they'll get cut off. This is probably going to take ages to dry because it's very fluid, this stuff. So I shall leave it overnight to see what it looks like in the morning. Right, that's it. See you tomorrow. I left this overnight and then overnight again and I think overnight again. It's been two or three days now since I... Uh, put the um, polymer on here and it still feels a little bit sticky. It's gone clear um, but it's also, if I zoom in I think you might be able to see a bit better. It's a bit reflective I'm afraid. Um, now if I move that around under the camera I think you can see it's almost as if it's cracked in places. Now I have a feeling 
that this isn't going to come off. I think it may not peel off. I don't know whether this is really the right stuff to use for this technique, but this is very experimental. Um, I think so if I start peeling it off at the edge, it's oh, it's not too bad. Yes, I think it's coming off. It's coming off the wax paper okay. But it's it's tearing a little bit. It may still not be quite dry enough. I'll, I'll see if I can get it off the wax paper because I think that'll help it to dry more as well if it's just on the acetate sheet. That bit broke off. I had a bit break off the other day. Now if I pull it off like that, that feels very wet underneath. Very wet. So I think I'm just going to peel that back underneath. It's it's very wet. That surprises me because it's quite dry on top. It just feels slightly tacky. I may be being a bit hasty trying to get it off quite so soon. But you can see it's a bit milky there. So what I'm going to do with this, if I can get it off in one piece, Let's try and flip that over. Right, yes, I think it's um it's not actually dry. It's breaking a bit there. But that's just on the wax paper, so I don't mind about that. That can be chucked out because I think it's it's had it. But um I think it should be alright on my non-stick craft sheet. If I leave that overnight again. I think we may find that's all right. It's come out a bit better than I thought. I thought it was all going to break up, but um, not too bad. I'm going to have to go and wash my hands. I can't touch the camera with this stuff all over my hands. Back in a moment. Now, if this is successful, um, I'm hoping to incorporate it into a page in my little leather art journal um, using a background of um, tea bags stained with distress inks um, and uh, I have done another video about that so if you look at that you can see about that um, but I'm just going to leave this as I say I'll leave it overnight again and see um, whether it actually dries out properly um, and I will try this technique again using what she suggested on the video which was the um, soft gel gloss gel medium and see how that turns out compare the results but this has turned out better than I thought but we'll have to see anyway I'll leave it to dry and um, uh, see what happens tomorrow right now this is several days later and um, it's I think it's probably dry now I've propped it up on some rubber stamps just so that the air could circulate around it. And um, let's zoom in a little bit and show you what that's like. You can see it's gone pretty clear. It looks a bit milky at the top there. But anyway, what we're going to do is um, zoom out again. Um, is to peel the acetate sheet off the back. Now I started doing this and it seemed to be coming away all right but I wasn't convinced it was quite dry so I left it. But I'm going to try pulling it off now. Let's see how it goes. It seems to be coming away. Um, sometimes around the edges it's gone underneath so that may be stopping it to pull. I do it like that. edges really that it's not coming off terribly well. Because it bled underneath the um, acetate. Yeah, 
that's okay. I don't know if you can be able to use that again, I'm not sure. It's a little bit milky at the top there, but um, I think it's okay. It's quite transparent. And the tea is well and truly fixed inside. There's no trace of it on the back. It feels absolutely flat. It's a little bit milky in one or two places, but I think with time that will clear. But it doesn't show from the front anyway. Um, and um, all I need to do now is just to cut this up and, and use it on different projects. And um, if I put it over. It's a bit reflecting, it's a bit difficult to see that. It's quite hard to see. That's probably not there. Perhaps not a terribly good example. But um, I think I can use that um, and um, use the technique generally and I'm going to try doing it with the um, soft gloss gel medium instead of the acrylic polymer so that should take a bit shorter time to dry I think um, and I'm also going to try adding different things not just the tea but um, some decorative yarns little offcuts of um, fibers and, and uh, different bits and pieces from other projects and trying to do some with um, paint and ink and things like that as well. So we'll see how we go.